Hey guys, today we're going to do a comparison between two different tape echo delay pedals. Both of these pedals uh, cost around the same price, around $200 US, and both of them are based upon the very famous Maestro Echoplex EP3 tape echo. Uh, so here we have the Hermita Audio EP3 tape echo simulator, and we also have the Catalan Bread Bella Epoch. And uh, as you guys can, can tell, um, both of these are right, very inspired by the Maestro EP3 Echoplex. Um, and I just wanted to see what the difference was between these two, you know, given that uh, they are retailing for the exact or very similar prices. And uh, both of them claim to be doing similar things. Uh, and they also both claim to have the, um, the preamp of the uh, original Maestro Echoplex EP3 as well, uh, which also colors the sound in a little bit, uh, in a like, I guess, a pleasing way. So yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see the differences between two, or hear the differences between the two. So the Hermita EPH3, or actually the Love Pedals EPH3, since Love Pedals is the distributor for Hermita, um, it has four different knobs. It's the simpler one out of the two. Uh, so it's one delay knob here to control the delay time, a feedback knob for regeneration, basically, um, and I guess which also repeats. Uh, flutter, this is for the modulation control uh, on the tape, and then the uh, mix, basically, to control your dry, wet signal. Uh, so I would say, yeah, out of these two, this one has less knobs, so it seems to be a little bit easier to operate. Uh, then the Catalan Bread Bella Epoch um, has some similar knobs, as you can see. It does have a mix knob as well. Uh, it has the Echo Sustain mod, uh, which I guess controls the echo time. Um, and then the mod, which is the modulation. This is very similar to the, the flutter, I guess, on the, on the EPH3. The record level hitting the tape. Uh, now this might be similar to the feedback knob on the UPH3, but I had to experiment with that to compare. Um, then the echo delay knob, which should be similar to the delay knob on the UPH3. So the Bella Epoch has one more knob. Uh, the Bella Epoch also claims to be the most accurate out of all the um, the Maestro Echoplex EP3 pedals out there. Uh, so we'll have to see, they both have a FET preamp, I believe. Uh, so that it, it simulates the uh, the preamp of the Maestro Echoplex. Uh, so you should be hearing a coloring of the tone no matter which one I am using, but how they color the tone might be different. So I'm curious about that. All right, so here's my setup and my gear here. So I am using a GNL ASOT Special, which has um, two single coil pickups. I do kind of like P90, um, not as powerful as a P90. It doesn't have as much mid-range, but they have more high-end than a P90. So I guess you can just consider them as like higher output fender single coils, essentially. Um, and I'm going into a Super Keely amp, which is a very neutral amp um, that's really designed to take pedals in. And, uh, and that's it. So you guys can just hear the sound without uh, really, you know, much coloration. I'm not using a, a very high powered amp or anything. I'm using a, a amp with a lot of clean headroom. All right, so this is my clean signal going to the amp. I'm on the neck pickup right now. a bit thin but it's okay for this demo um, so first let's turn on the cattle and bread Bella epoch I'm gonna have all the controls kind of set low right now because uh, this this pedal can actually um, be cr pretty crazy once you turn the controls up so I set them all to uh, roughly around 10 o'clock position this is what sounds good. can really tell it's pretty noticeable already at this point. If you turn it up even more, it's going to get just really, really crazy. Yep, so if I turn up the mix knob... You guys can hear, uh, yeah, just... There's more of a, uh, the wet signal now. As you can tell, that's basically essentially turning up the how much of the delay is in the signal. Then I turn up the echo delay right here, which is the delay time. Actually, maybe 
it controls the repeats actually. The echo sustain I think controls the delay time. So. If I turn up the echo sustain, it's really crazy. Okay, echo sustain is pretty crazy once you turn it up. Okay, so this one is um, maybe just the. I think it's just the echo, the level of the echoes here, and then the sustain actually controls maybe the, how many repeats there is, and then I can turn out the modulation here, which I think uh, would be the flutter control. So if you turn it up, um, it's not immediately noticeable because it just simply degrades the signal more. I really have to turn up the level for you guys to hear more. Yep, and then uh, record level, which is the, uh, the signal hitting the tape here. Mix them all together, it gets really crazy. Yeah, as you can tell, it gets pretty crazy <laughs> once you turn it up. Anyways, the uh, Bell Epoch is a very powerful pedal. It's been on my pedal board for uh, a few years. And um, yeah, just you can do all sorts of stuff with this pedal. I generally don't turn it up more than just 10 o'clock because it gets really crazy. But if you guys are into experimenting with uh, you know really crazy sounds, then the Bell Epoch can definitely do that. All right, now let's look at the uh, Hermita EPH3 here. Uh, again, I'm gonna turn all things down to maybe 10 so we can get an idea what the low controls are, right? what it sounds like when uh, all the controls are lower. All right. Seems to be more of a subtle. Let's let's check out the bell icon. Yeah, I guess it's a subtle second. sounds a bit warmer than the APH3, to my ears anyways. Okay, the APH3 also advertises itself as being better with dirt pedals. I'm not sure if that's true or not. I'll test that later. Um, but yeah, um, I think just from the low settings, EPH3 seems to have like a brighter tone and the Bell Epoch seems to have like a warmer tone. Okay, I'm gonna turn up the delay time here. Okay, turn up the feedback knob here, which is the, um, this is, I guess, the uh, repeats. This pe this effect's not that noticeable unless you have the delay time up. So turn the delay time up. Yeah, be 
because this is just controlling the uh, the degradation of that tape. Um, then the mix knob, right, making a, like making the delay more noticeable, I guess, in the signal. Okay. Uh, can we create crazy sounds like the Bella Epoch, though? Let's turn it all up and see what happens. Turn it up uh, all the way actually. It doesn't seem to get quite as crazy. <laughs> similar to um, a standard digital delay actually whereas on the Bella Epoch uh, it gets pretty crazy and like okay let's just turn everything except for echo sustain up okay, okay so actually uh, the Bella Epoch if I don't turn up the echo sustain, because this is the one knob that the EPH3 doesn't have, um, if I turn it all up, yeah, I guess it's okay. It's not like you. It's not like too crazy yet because the echo sustain is the one that's I guess the craziest knob. So like, like this is like yeah, with everything set to pretty high. <laughs> More degradation. It seems like it's more degradation. I'm not even turning up to full. Actually, we need to like turn it up even more. Yeah, yeah. And then, but if you turn up the echo sustain, that's where this thing gets crazy. This is the one knob uh, the EPH3 doesn't have, and it doesn't have the ability to be as crazy um, because it doesn't have this knob. Okay, so uh, yeah, I guess uh, to me the Bella Epoch definitely has more experimental sounds on tap, I guess, especially with this extra echo sustain knob on here. Um, even if I turn it up to like maybe around like uh, this is like what um, two o'clock, yeah, even if I turn it up to two o'clock. It's already as crazy as the craziest setting, as the, you know, this is just turning up to full on the APH3. So, yeah, I can like dial the knobs up to almost max on the APH3 and the, the Bella Epoch already kind of reaches that level if I only have it up to like 2 o'clock. So, oh, it's That degrades a lot already. In the okay, they, well, the control is a little bit different, and they don't do the, exactly the same things as each other. But uh, yeah, you hear more repeats, but it's not quite as um, degraded sounding as the Bell Epoch, I guess. The uh, Bell Epoch sounds more degraded to me. Let's turn it up even more. <laughs> Actually, I had them together. <laughs> Never mind. This is like tip them together. Oops. Okay, that's both of them on together. Okay, here's just the bell on. Okay, so it sounds pretty degraded, but it fades up pretty short. Uh, you can see. I mean, the tails are pretty short. Yeah, you see how the, the 
the delay trail is a bit longer on this one, but it's not quite as degraded sounding as the Bell Epoch. So I think if you're looking for that um, crazier sound, the Bell Epoch definitely has more of that. Like you can definitely experiment it with, experiment with it more. Um, in terms of, you know, if you just want to have a, a nice delay sound, but without too much craziness, then I guess the EPH3 is fine. So it's like, I guess Cattle and Bread is kind of correct when they say that uh, they have probably the most complete, uh, actually they have the Bell Epoch Deluxe as well. They have probably the most complete EP3 um, emulation pedal on the market. So yeah, I don't have the Strymon El Capistan, um, but so far out of the Tape Echo pedals I've tried, the uh, Bella Epoch seems to be the most fully featured and the most powerful out of them so far. Like I've also tried the Kili Magnetic Echo as well. Um, yeah, the, Bella, the Catalan Bread Bella Epoch is very, very powerful and you have a lot of room for experimentation. You can definitely get a lot of crazy sounds out of it. The Hermita EPH3 so far sounds uh, rather tame, I guess. I mean, it does try to be like, uh, you know, that simulating the um, EP3 sound, but it doesn't go as far as the Bell Epoch does in, um, in, you know, how many sounds you can create. So like, even on the craziest, like I just turn all the knobs up, the EP3 doesn't sound quite as crazy. Um, but if you just want like a nice a delay sound, just think of this as just, you know, a digital delay or something, then Kermit is pretty good. So, yeah. Uh, just Actually, in um, Catalan Bread's like marketing blurb for the Bell Epoch, they said, "Oh, we just we didn't just take a digital delay pedal and added some you know extra wow and fl flutter with some modulation." And I think they're really uh, aiming at the Kili Magnetic, Magnetic Echo as well as the the Hermita EPH3 when talking about that, because these really are just digital de delay pedals with a little bit of you know tape simulation with that extra flutter control, but. The Catalan Bread Bell Epoch really does go all the way with that emulation and you know adds in a whole bunch of other like uh, I guess it gives you more sounds and uh, more controls as well. So yeah it's it's a more fully featured pedal. Um, that's not to say it's the you know better pedal for everyone though. Like there are some people that just might want to have a simpler tape echoey sound and they don't need it to be uh, super powerful. Then I guess the, the uh, EPH3 is fine. All right, so I'm just gonna play uh, a lick on both of these. Just have them all on like kind of uh, uh, just like lesser settings, I guess, so it doesn't get too crazy or anything. But this is just the way I would use it. I don't, I don't use like, I don't want to have like too crazy delay on my uh, signal. I just want to have like a little bit of delay, like you, I guess you can call it like slap back or something. I just want to have like a yeah, a touch of delay, and uh, have it all both set to uh, all, actually all of these knobs set to around the ten o'clock setting. Uh, so it's not too much of the delay, it's just a little bit of the effect, so you guys can kind of hear the main differences between the two. Um, yeah, in the way I would use it, actually. So, yeah, let's uh, turn on the EPH3. So again, actually, this is my clean tone here. Okay, EPH3. Uh, I think the main difference is the Hermita 
than the uh, Bella Epoch. Yeah, so the Bella Epoch sounds a bit warmer and darker, whereas the EPH3 sounds a bit uh, brighter. Um, so I think that's the tonal differences between the two, and that might be the difference in how they implemented that FET preamp circuit. Um, I mean, they shouldn't sound different, I don't think, but I don't know, like maybe the, ep the original EP3 Echoplex preamp sounded different depending on the model. I'm not sure, I never owned a, a Maestro Echoplex, but, uh, but yeah, they do sound different. Uh, the coloring of the tone through the preamp does sound different. Um, and then the actual delay effects, uh, the EPH3 really is a digital delay, which is some, you know, modulation. Uh, so it's, don't think of this as like a true EP3 type of pedal. Um, this is really just a digital delay with modulation. <laughs> some modulation on it so nothing too crazy happening there um, whereas the uh, the Catalan bread Bella Epoch really is a it's a more of a full-on recreation of the EP3 uh, with more controls added and you can do like more crazy stuff with it. especially with this echo sustain knob right you turn that And it, um, the signal can degrade more, or it sounds like it's degraded more with the Bella Epoch. So the Bella Epoch is more of a fully featured pedal, it's more powerful. It is the more authentic uh, EP3 pedal in my opinion. Um, that's not to say that the EPH3 isn't a good pedal, they're both good pedals, it just depends on your use case. I think if you're looking for an Echoplex pedal, then the Bella Epoch is probably the better one. But if you're looking for just a nice sounding delay, then uh, then you might actually go for the EPH3. I don't know if you like to have a more, you know, just a nice sounding delay with less controls uh, and this one will sound pretty good. So yeah, it really depends on what you're looking for. Um, but yeah, those who want more of a fully featured type of pedal, um, you know, more delay sounds, more experimental sounds, more uh, powerful controls and everything, the Bella Epoch is the way to go. Uh, and it's also probably the more accurate EP3 pedal. But if you're just looking for a nice sounding delay pedal, uh, without caring too much about the Echoplex uh, thing, it's like if you just want to have like an Echoplex flavor, but uh, not entirely like you know true to the Echoplex, then the EPH3 is good. So yeah, uh, let me know what you guys feel in the comment section below. Which one would you pick? Um, they're both nice delay pedals, but uh, yeah, they're different. Um, <laughs> EPH3 is more simpler. It's just a basically digital delay with uh, some modulation on it and uh, the Bella Epoch is just a more fully featured powerful pedal. So this is my, uh, my normal tone here. Okay, the Hemida EPH3. Um, then I'm going to... Uh, I have it set to fairly, like, you know, like um, 10 o'clock right now, fairly light. Because I normally don't use too much delay, just a little bit. So I'm going to add some uh, overdrive now. I'm going to put on the Timmy. This is what it's like with Timmy. Right, so it works well. Yeah, like sometimes if you have a delay, it doesn't work well with um, gain or overdrive. It'll sound really messy. This one seems like it's still articulate, so it's fine. Now let's try the Wampa Tumnus, the claw circuit. It's a clone type overdrive, so it's still not too much gain. So I'm going to put on the uh, Snus Black Box now, which should have more gain on it. It's a Bluesbreaker type of overdrive. Uh, I can even uh, 
add the Chi Town Holy Grail, which is kind of like a tube screamer type of sound now. It doesn't sound uh, too messy or anything like that. It plays really nicely. So yeah, it does as advertised. It does play fairly well with high gain pedals. It doesn't um, sound too messy or whatever. I mean, just setting it to the to the lower settings, of course. If I turn it up, then uh, yeah, it might be different. But at least for the lower settings, it seems to play well with pretty much everything. Anyways, uh, that's it. That's the uh, Hermedia Audio EP. H3 um, working well with, with gain pedals. So that's it. Thanks for, uh, for watching.